Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And some email this morning wanting to know how to make this shape of this like hard candy wrapper. This is pretty easy and pretty fun. It's a tool you I very seldom ever use. But just get your rectangle tool and make your rectangle. And then get your up here in your shape tool, get your attract. And you can have whatever size you want on the on the circle. But then make your, your speed slower. Because if you go too fast, you'll mess it up. Just kind of put it in the middle and you just, well, I wasn't in the middle. Let's back up here. So I didn't think it would actually work. I'm kind of in the middle now. Went too far. See, that's where your speed is involved. And I'm actually not far enough in. Let's go here. I need to make my nudge. Let's make it seven inches and then it's bigger and then you've got to click on your item to get it to work and I'm still going too fast that's where the speed comes involved so slow it down a little bit and that's not as good as I had before but the trick is control D and make a duplicate and then mirror that guy then take your smart fill tool and fill that in and that that was not near as good as the first one left click right click in black erase all this put that in the center of the page write out the word you know whatever you want candy make it a little bit thicker font make it a aerial black put p that might be a little bit too big. Lower it down. Put P. You're on the text. Left click. Right click. And then take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Then you're going to have to fill in the little circles. So get your smart fill tool again and fill that in. That doesn't look half bad. It's not as neat as the first one. But then all you have to do is control G and make a duplicate of that. Let's make the duplicate out of the way. And let's turn the other one gray. Now, in this case, you're going to want to fill in with black the, the wording so it has a little contrast. Control G to group that together. Well, I didn't make a duplicate of the black. But anyway, you just turn it opposite and, and put it behind one or the other. And you can move these around doing whatever you wanted to do. And the only problem is with the, the candy in the first one is transparent. So when you have something in the background, it's going to show up. But something like that would work or get it out of the candy. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.